Hey Terry, it's Ian. Um, I wanted to make another, I want to say this again, I, and I guess for everyone, I, uh, last, on uh, November 20th was, um, the anniversary of my friend's death, well, of my, of my friend's, uh, husband's death and I just didn't and my friend Terry it's Terry you zipster Terry so I didn't contact I didn't contact you man and uh, and I just didn't talk to you on the 20th or after that really until today and that it was fear it was my fear because of the pain that I knew and I didn't realize it consciously I don't, maybe I even, I did, I didn't, I didn't think about it, but I, I, I just didn't feel like talking to you as much. Something was, was missing and that was it. It was subconscious. I was afraid of experiencing the pain with you and, um, that I'm sorry that I did that. I'm sorry to myself that I did that. I, I have sorrow because I'm I'm flawed like that. I'm a I make mistakes. I guess if you can consider it a mistake because I'm growing from it right now. I'm acknowledging that it happened and 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 admitting that I fuck fucking really did a fearful thing by not contacting you and experiencing that with you especially as much as we were talking about I wanted to I wanted to I want to now still which is why I like talking to you about it so much but um I lost my train of thought why did my mind fight me on this why why am I why am I forgetting this oh oh because I'm I was talking about the growth that I'm having right now and I am having a lot of growth right now talking about that I did this and here's what I was afraid to say. This is why my body diverted. I'll never do it again. I will never do that again. Allow the death of someone to make me afraid to communicate with someone. Or afraid to communicate about it. Intense. Wow. Jeez. All right.